Uh, welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Morocco. So, guys, we are here back in the awesome Let's Play where I am preparing for my war with Mo with the Mamelukes. It's gonna happen, guys. Don't worry, it's gonna happen. And at the same time, I'm preparing for this gigantic war. I am integrating the Ottomans, the best thing that's ever happened to me. I am integrating them at 0.21 per turn, but hey, you know what? We are integrating these guys, and once they become a part of my empire. Oh, all that army, all that trade, all that. Oh, my mouth is almost drooling over the possibilities. So, yeah, and then we also have a couple of these other protectorate guys. I really, I kind of hope that this, that he actually, like, I wish you could actually annex protectorates. Because I would love to annex this guy. Just, like, make him, hey, can you, like, become my protectorate? Because I wouldn't mind that. You know, me and you, both, you under my protectorate. You know, and then I declare war on you because you're you're a stupid CI. Yeah, that's just that, you know that's just how things go. But yeah. Anyways, oh by the way, people, some of you might get mad at me for saying all these stupid CI and all the things. Remember, I if you ever know me in real life, I am the most tolerant person ever. I don't, and in all honesty, I'm just playing a role. If I was a if I was a Catholic, I'll say the filthy heathens, the filthy. The filthy people that believe in a... Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm just playing a role. I'm not actually being... I'm not actually being this... You know, I don't actually care about the real hate crime. It's just, I'm demonstrating what our people think. Because as you guys can see, we don't... We don't really like... Uh, he, we don't really like uh, anyone that's Catholic, Protestant, Reform, Orthodox, Buddhist, Hindu, Confucianism, Shinto, Animist, Shamanist, or Totalitism. We do kind of like the Shiite, but not really. So, yeah, this is. I'm just reflecting my views as what they are in the game. So, no one freak out if I if you ever get offended. But if you guys do ever get offended, just tell me. I'll cut it off and I won't ever say it again, okay? Okay. Just making sure I get that out of the way because I don't want to, like, accidentally offend someone. That's the worst. That is one of the worst things I think I could ever do to someone is accidentally insult their face. Which, you know, it's. That would be just terrible. Like,. There's, certain, there's just two things you never do in the world. is just you never insult somebody's mother and you never insult their faith. Okay, those are like the worst things you can ever do to a person, alright? And while that's happening, I'm going to build lots of constables. Ah, no! What are you doing? Build more constables, not more men. Yes, build the constables. And yes, I know this is cutting back on my... Uh, my uh, Diplotech for a little bit, but eh. You know what, we should spend some money to actually gain more money, is the way I see it. And, yeah, look at this game, man. We have so much money raking in. Well, 9.6 ducats a turn, that's not insanely good, but considering we're keeping, like, two colonies up, and a massive army, and a conversion, conversion successful, this is, like, the greatest, and I'm not even gonna start that, that's not even worth it. So, right now we have a mission that we could be doing. What could we be doing? We could be colonizing this. Where is that? <laughs> I I wish I knew provinces more, but where is that? Uh, Maraturis. Mar... Or uh, Martinus. Martinus. Okay, I could colonize these little islands right here. How much are they worth? Five. Okay, and they're pretty low... It's a possibility. I, I won't say that I won't not do it, because that's actually a pretty good possibility. And Alexandria. Wait. Isn't that already colonized? Alexandria. Yeah. Wait, does that say conquer Alexandria? Oh, conquer Alexandria. Hmm. Well, I don't want to go after the Mamelukes right now, just because of two reasons. I mean, I do have to go after them before I integrate the Ottomans, but the Ottomans won't be integrated for about a couple years. But I need to wait until my tech is at least even to them. Because I don't want to rush in there and, be, and then be, like, destroyed by everyone, because I already know that we have to, we basically have to keep taking down until we're ready. So, I guess the greatest thing, we could also build a grand fleet. 50 ships are equal. How many do we already have of heavy ships? 30 heavy ships. How many do we already have? 13. You know, honestly, I wouldn't mind building like 30 heavy ships. That would not be like terribly bad. Yeah, let's. Mm, but the two prestige isn't really worth it. But that, I'm not really gonna get from. Mm. 
yes, let's do it. <laughs> I know it's only two prestige, and I know it doesn't really count too much, considering we're losing a lot of prestige per turn, but let's try it. Let's actually try to build a gigantic army of faith. So, well, not faith, just a gigantic army. So two ships, that's our three ships. So now we have 16 heavy transports. And who is our leader again? Because it's been a little bit since I played this. Oh yeah, we have Sultan Monsieur, Monsieur One of Montenegro. Oh no, the natives tried to revolt and they realized how powerful I am. Oh. Ooh. Please we're gaining prestige. Because I can honestly pay back loans much quicker than I can gain prestige right now, apparently. Like, I don't know what's happening here. I Sometimes I really do hate the, uh, that system. Like, the zero system. It just, I, just, I don't know. Sometimes I just wish it would just give me a break and just let me, like, have my ships. Or let me have my luck. Native uprising. Oh, no. Okay, let's build some more ships. 17. 17 ships we built. And native uprising. You guys are really not, wow, these guys are really, really trying to rebuild against me. They're really not going to learn that I have 8k here, no matter how many, even if they send out 7k to try to beat me, I will have an army to come and destroy you. Okay, so please, stop with your, with that, and let's see, are we effectively working all these provinces? Yes, tax efficiency, production, whew, man, these are great provinces, I love, like, at this point in the game, like, this is, if, if there's any point in the game I really do love, is like, after you get a part, after you get rid of like the original parts and you really start getting to the game, this is where the game really does become fun. And all you guys are all portrayed patrolling the same place. Let's see, you guys are patrolling the Manchurian coast. You guys are patrolling Safe. No, you guys are patrolling something different. You guys are patrolling the Manchurian coast. Okay, so I'm gonna combine you two trade fleets. Uh yeah, there we go. Once once the animation. Just stay right there for a second. Combine. Con patrol the Manchurian coast evenly. There we go. And how are we doing on trade empire-wise? We control that node, we don't control this node, which is kind of shocking. It's mostly because we have a lot of Europeans being jerks, but that's fine. That's I expected Europeans to be jerks. Over here, though, we control most of the retained value, and this is like a 6.8 node. You know, I might, in a sense, actually want to build like lots of like marketplaces around this area and just upgrade this place to no ends because I really do want this node to be way more powerful than all these nodes all these like 22 nodes and 32 nodes yeah I want to make sure that this is like the node that everyone wants to go to on um, this node I actually can start fighting for and you know what I actually will start fighting for this node because it technically is my node now and since I'm not a western power I have no excuse this node I could fight for but why would be the point it's not really any kind of you know benefit over here, I still don't know how Aragon controls 40% of this node. I don't even know how they have even trade power over here to wield this much power to control this much node. I, I understand why Songhai has this much power, but how do they have that much power? But I might as well continue the game while I'm doing this, because I don't want to... I'll just slow it down so that people can still gain enough access. Over here, though, this makes sense. I control most of this trade node. It's mostly being going up to here and then funneling out to there which then funnels out to my node which is what I want this is exactly what I want and then over here this is like the big node if I could actually control it that'd be nice over here we have more of my nodes more of my <laughs> I completely control this node no one messes with me in a cape of good hope ha 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 and then Zanzibar I have very little power in this node but uh, don't worry that'll change here soon it's it's all gonna change. It's all gonna change. So over here we ha we're combining some of these units over here. I think because I was getting kind of tired of just all these like random ships popping up everywhere. It does get kind of annoying when my army is not like centralized anywhere or not really centralized. And Portugal is at war with Castile. Okay. Okay. So Portugal is at war with Castile. Let's see the war sides before I start making like brass decisions that could potentially make me at war with some other nations I don't want to. Um, let's see, so they're just basically at war with that, they're not really, it's not too big of a war as I can see, uh, it does include La Plata and all these guys down here, hmm, could we sneak something from these guys, uh, well, Carabas is a pretty good colony, but can we declare war, no we don't, we don't have any diplomats to send by, I don't think we could even if we did, 
Speaking of which, what about diplomats doing annexing vassals? Okay, we're annexing two vassals right now, so we're also improving relationships with Hungary. Why are we improving relationship with Hungary? That seems kind of stupid and counterproductive. But yeah, let's see, can we do anything? Um. Hmm. Okay, Castile just got its fleet destroyed. Hmm. Can we take Tangiers? No, for some reason we don't actually have a core on Tangiers. Wow. But, hmm. They're winning. The Portuguese are winning in the land front, which is weird. Like, it's... Uh, oh, they have Aragon on the side. Well, that makes some sense. It seems like they're winning in the, like, sea range. So, let's see. Do we have anything? Show superiority. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. They, they've completely blockaded. They are allied with Britain, Austria, and... But no. Yeah, I may want to do what... I just said, but I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to go and go attack some nation that's more powerful than me. That seems pretty stupid. Okay, we got the Tuko. Okay, there we go. Large Creole Cavalry. Do we got anything more better than the Chamber of Cannonmen? No, we don't. Okay, so then let's go to Advisors. Okay, so let's see. We need one Advisor. National Tax Modifier. Yes. Now, we're just... Our administration right now is just doing awesome. Which is so great. But yeah, it seems like we can't go to War Castile because it has a powerful alliance right now. And before I even try to deal with, before I even try to deal with them, I'm gonna need to build up a bigger army. You guys know what I mean. I mean, I could hold this pretty much forever, but it just, it would be much easier if we had that other army. So, yeah, now that I have an extra diplomat, diplomat, let's see. Kiowa will probably be our next conquest because they're pretty easy. And I think I'll just, I think honestly what I'll do is I'll honestly like annex the entire thing and then I'll like release him as a vassal. That'll make it much simpler for me to like deal with everything. And it's only gonna require like two or three wars. Like it's not gonna require that many, so it's okay if I gain like five years of horrible, horrible racking up overextension. So yeah, I, I wouldn't mind. It would not be that bad, but wow, the Timurids are still in the game. Huh, you guys are still a con? You guys are still a con. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna live very long. So yeah, what should we do with this extra diplomat? I know. Gosh dang, I was thinking of something really important I should do with the Diplomat. It wasn't involving the Mamluks. It's ability too, by the way. Wow. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. I guess go back to improving relationships with Hungary. I don't know. This is... Wow, this is kind of bugging me. What was I going to do with that guy? Oh, yeah! Now I remember. Shoot. Okay, bring him back. Yeah, I was going to start improving relationship with Kalaboom. Because what I need to do is keep improving relationships so that he will... Oh, wow. Congo 17... Hmm. 17. Do we have enough? Oh, yeah. Bring it on. Wait, do I have him out? Wait, before I do that event, do I have full maintenance on? Yes. Bring it on. Yeah, let's see if you guys can do it with my modern tech. Yeah, look at those little Congoians. They're trying to kill me. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, and now I'm going to core this. Make this a part of my empire. Look at my empire. So beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, okay, so while, while I'm also reminiscing about my empire, let's think of stuff that we can do. Uh, still building up those ships to build that uh, grand fleet. The grand fleet of... Of Morocco. Whoa. And every time people hear the name of Morocco, they always have to go, Whoa. Because they're so impressed by our fleets and our cities and our empire. Because we are the best. Wah ah ah. Don't know why I didn't even laugh there, but it apparently needed that. Okay, now, so Ukraine has formed everyone. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. If Ukraine is formed just right in the middle of Lithuania, that must have been like some point in the event. It's also in a personal union of the Russia. Huh. Go figure. Ah, uh, we could have that for a little bit. The Holy Roman Empire is Bulgaria. Oh, sweet. An alliance with Kilowa. Kilowa. Okay, so you guys who are my future prey want to be allies with me. No. You don't even know how ridiculous that sounds from my, from my, my point. Like, seriously, you guys don't even know how ridiculous that sounds. Okay. So, let's continue. Native Uprising. These natives are just really thinking they can beat me, don't they? I mean, they are my own people, but seriously, guys, stop it. You guys aren't gonna win. 
I'm being really nice too. I'm not even trying to destroy you. I'm just kind of moosing on about, just watching things happen. You guys are just being all the aggressive little guys. Apparently, Austria has 70% reform rate. How many people support it? Ah, man, that stinks. They need, like, they need a little bit more and they can start enacting more and more reforms. Oh, man. You know, the Holy Roman Emperor would probably be a bad thing if it formed, especially since I'm probably going to be the Ottomans, too. It'd be a really bad thing if they formed. And it seems like those guys did something important. I can get an idea group, administrative ideas. Hmm. How are we doing in administrative ideas in terms of catching up? Let's see. Are we on par 14, 17? No, not quite. We need to hold off on ideas just a little bit longer before we can, like, gain what we need. Because as we know, tech increases over time. So we need to get this tech quickly as possible or catch up to the Europeans as quickly as possible because otherwise it's going to affect us severely. So let's see. Caliboom, let's start improving relationship with you guys. You guys are so close to being to being my like Oh man, you guys are so close. And the broken alliance stuff and that sabotage reputation. I did not sabotage you oh, they must have sabotaged my reputation. But dang! I did nothing of the sort. You guys are just all cranky, that's all I gotta say. You guys are you guys are insanely cranky nation. Like, insanely cranky. Improve relations. Ah oh, man, that sabotage reputation, that's never gonna go away, I guess. And you do you guys do realize though, if you guys never become my alliance, you may not feel well about which has an alliance with us. Yeah, if you guys do realize, if I do not figure out how to kill you guys, I'm just going to conquer you. Okay, and we do have a loan coming due. So that means save up our money so that we can pay it off, because I don't as I like to say in all my games, I like to repay all my debts so that I don't have to owe anyone. I don't like the idea of having to owe anyone in this game because then I don't want them. I don't want them holding that over me. Hey, can we buy this? Uh, no, you have a debt to us. You have to pay that back first. But I really want it. No, you have to pay it back. Okay, let's get our administrative tech, textile factories. Yeah. And then we're about to get our Diplo tech up too. That's going to help. That's going to seriously help. Okay, so let's get these guys all the way over here. We're building up our attack fleet right now. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be great. Once we build our attack fleet, it's going to be awesome. Let's see. Attack fleets! Wah ha 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 ha. 22 ships. Uh, 8 of them... Uh, 14 of them heavy ships. So I'm assuming that at some point I accidentally integrated ships that weren't supposed to be in it. So... Let's break those guys off, because I'm pretty sure these guys aren't supposed to be in it. And I don't remember what trade node you guys were patrolling in, so let's see. What trade node does not have any ships in it? Let's see. You guys have plenty. You guys are still part of me. You guys are still part of me. You guys could probably need more. You guys, okay. I don't really care about you guys. You guys, okay. You guys, oh, definitely okay. Uh, let's see. Who could we actually throw down to give a little bit more power in? Uh, I do like the fact that they own so much of my own trade node. But, I mean, we're doing pretty good in almost everywhere else. Trade is definitely becoming more and more priorities. Hmm. Let's see. You guys can go protect the, I guess, Manchurian coast. Because I want to make sure that... Or is it the Safi? Is it my my capital's in the Safa Safi? Let's, yeah, you guys control the Safi. Yeah, because so I need to make sure that this node is mine. I need to make sure that none of these Europeans will ever be able to mess with me because I need to keep my empire safe. I need to keep my area safe. I need to make sure that no one else messes with my empire. Lose ducats. Oh great! As soon as I was trying to pay off a loan, something like this happened. And you know what? Because I want to pay off the stone really badly, I can actually lower maintenance just a little bit. Not by very much, I just want to make 10 gold a year so we can pay back the stone a little bit quicker. Or 10 gold a month. Yeah, a year! 10 gold a year everyone, we made 10 gold a year. We are proud people. Because we made 10 gold a year, so now we can improve relationship with these guys again. Still not to the point I would like it to be. Uh, proclaim guarantee. No, they just... I think, honestly, I'm going to have to break the alliance with these guys. I, I'm just going to have to invade them. 
It, there's just honestly nothing I can do. I honestly want to remain peaceful in this situation and, you know, just calmly diplo annex them. But, um, uh, right at the very end of the episode, Castile decided to be a jerk. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.